What's going on guys? My name is Brawler, also known as the coach of the Lake City Leopards. Coming here today to bring you week one of the PLD. Uh, right here we can see that our opponent has brought uh, Thunderous Incarnate, not Thunderous Incarnate, Thunderous Therian, Weavile, Cresselia, Volcanian, Megalopony, and the Togekiss. Uh, looking at the team overall, uh, I do think that we have a decent matchup here. Uh, the Volcanian and the Thunderous are going to be the most bothersome, I believe. Um, the Lopany, we do have checks for. The Cofagrigus will indeed put a stop to whatever Lopany has to throw at it. No Scrappy for you. I am very sorry. Not really. Um, the one that worries me the most about this, I would say, is that Thunderous there and the Togekiss. Uh, the Thunderous, we don't have a reliable check to, which that is completely and utterly my bad. Uh, I did not put any rock coverage on my team, and the Thunderous kind of tears through the team otherwise. Uh, I can put a stop to it with, uh, with uh, Hoopa down here, but uh, I need to be careful in case of HP Bug. I don't think it will be HP Bug, I'm more thinking Thunderbolt, uh... Sludge Wave just for the top of Coco, maybe Calm Mind or Volt Switch instead, but uh, we will have to definitely see. Starting off, I don't know what I want to lead with. I have a feeling that either the Weavile or the Cresselia will be leading off, so immediately my first thought is to go into Hoopa, just because uh, it walls them pretty nicely. Uh, except the Weavile. Weavile's attack stat, of course, is very high. Uh, I'm in just a little bit of a situation as of now. I could go with uh, Scizor to start with, see what happens. I know that Togekiss could be here carrying Heat Wave as well. So we will see. Alright, sorry about that cut. So, uh, yeah, leading off, I think I want to go with... Actually, you know what? Uh, let's start things off with uh, Cuffagrigus. See how well we can do here. And he's going to go straight into the Lopany, which is real nice, especially since we can just completely shut it down. So, he's going to go for Fake Out. That's going to immediately get rid of that uh, mum or Scrappy ability. It's going to make me flinch, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, try to go for the Will-O-Wisp see if he goes into Weavile or not. If we can burn the Weavile, that would be good, because then we don't have that check to Shaman down there. We don't have to check the Cfagrigus. So we will definitely have to see what he decides to do here. I'm thinking he's either going to go into the Weavile or he's going to just stay in and hope for the best, but he really can't do anything. He's actually going to go into Volcanion. A uh, good switch on his part, because he probably predicted my Will-O-Wisp. Now that puts me in an awkward situation. Hopefully he does not double out. Hopefully he thinks I'm going to switch and stay in going for something predicting. But for now, I want to pain split and see what happens. He's actually going to go for the flamethrower. Luckily he does not get a burn there, and I'm just going to heal up. Uh thing that can take the flamethrower the best, I think, would be the Hoopa Unbound, but we will see just in one second. I'm going to switch out of the Hoopa Unbound. Hopefully he stays in and does not switch over to Weavile. Oh, no. He's actually going to switch into the Weavile. Uh, that's not good for me. Ooh. Mm. Whatever this thing does do to me will be bad because of Weavile's high attack stat and speed, but right now I don't think it can do too much to me without catching something. Let me see. What do I want to do here? Alright, he's playing very strategic. I like it. Unfortunately, it does put me in a little bit of a tough spot. I really don't know what I want to go to. Hmm. I'm thinking he's going to have me switch into the Scizor. Hopefully he predicts it and goes into Volcanion. I'm going to go ahead and go... Okay. Well, that crit definitely mattered. Uh, I was a defensive Hoopa. 
So uh, that kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and go into the slacking, and we can immediately retaliate and hit whatever the hell we want. And the Weavile goes down. No problem there. Of course, he's going to switch into the Lopini, and immediately I can go straight into the Cuff Aggregus. Real easy switch. Uh, real nice. Real easy. Real simple. Nothing big. I think for now, though, I am going to go into... Hmm... I think I want to go into Tapu Koko and double out into Scizor, hoping he will go for the Thunderous. Uh, hmm. This does put me in an awkward spot. I'm going to go for Pain Split. Heals me just a little bit, which is fine. Uh, hmm. Could go for Hex, hoping he stays in. Let's see what happens. Goes for the Sludge Bomb, hoping the poison I'm going to assume. Luckily, we get that crit there. That's going to help with the Volcanian, especially since he can still check my Scizor with that. Uh, for now, I don't know what he's going to go to, but I think I am going to stay in and go for another Hex. Goes for the Steam Eruption. Now, I can outspeed this thing with Shaman, so I think that right now the safest play for me is to go into Shaman and save Cafagragus for later. He's actually going to predict that, and I'm going to get my weakness policy off, which is good for me. I'm going to go ahead and immediately Giga Drain. Hopefully he stays in. Oh, he goes into Cresselia. That's good for me because I am packing HP Ghost here. HP Ghost will do a considerable amount to the Cresselia. So let's go for HP Ghost, see how much it does. It does a considerable 36. Uh, Cresselia is not going to be leftovers. So that's going to be good for me. I can just go for another Hidden Power. Goes into Togekiss. I don't think he knows what to do. I'm going to go ahead and set up Tailwind. Just so we can do some stuff against this team. And he's going to reveal that it is indeed a Scarf Togekiss. Uh, that's no problem. I do think that uh, Scizor can handle this. Volcanian's only at 32%. So, we should be able to take it out, like, almost no problem. And I'm just going to go for U-turn. Uh, let's go into Tapu Koko. I have a feeling that the Thunderous would come out. And there is the Thunderous expecting a uh, Sludge Wave here. I'm going to go straight back into Scizor. He does go for the Sludge Wave. Luckily, I do protect it. I'm going to go right back for the U-Turn. He might pack HP Fire just for this thing, but I don't believe that should be an issue. He could. Um, there is always that option. Hopefully, he predicts me U-Turning out and goes into something more noteworthy. But right now, this thing will be the bane of my existence until I get it under check. <sighs> Hopefully, he just goes for something that I can easily go into. I know he's going to be faster, so if he goes for a fast volt switch, he should just... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm not playing the best right now. I've already lost one of my best sweepers, so I don't have a good feeling about this game. Hmm. What is he going to do? That's what I want to know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, see what he... Oh, never mind. He's just going to play, play it safe. And I think I am going to go into my... You know what? I think I'm going to go straight into Sizzle, or into Tapu Koko. Hopefully he predicts me switching back out into Sizzle with the Sludge Wave, and I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. And now he goes straight, and he gets a critical. <sighs> and he takes out the Koko, so that's not good for me. I want to go into the Slacking again, hopefully get that Retaliate kill 
on whatever comes in. I don't think it would kill uh, Togekiss at this range, but it'll do considerable damage to whatever it hits. <sighs> I'm not playing well at all, and I'm probably going to lose. That's okay. Oh, that's actually going to take out the Thunderous. That's good for me. Uh, though it did take out Coco, which is real bad. Mm, I don't know what I want to go into here. Uh, Tutankhamun's almost down. Scizor's almost down. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll stay in. He went for a Drain Punch. That's good for me. And we'll just go ahead and retaliate, see what happens. Retaliate still does a considerable amount to that. Uh, so I think I want to stay in. Just go for Tutankhamun here. Uh, pain split. See what happens. And that's going to take it out. Unfortunately, that's likely going to be a loss. So we'll see. And he went for Fire Punch. That'll be the game. I really don't care. I played terrible. So we'll see. <laughs> 